Hey guys, it is me again. <clears throat> Today is Saturday, what, December 3rd, I think. That's what it is, let's see. Yeah, Saturday, December 3rd. Makes it day 337 on the project, so here more. Guys, I know I always say this, but I gotta mean it tonight. I gotta try to make this video short. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm running so behind. I've been up all night trying to get trying to get this recording made for our Christmas nativity drive through. Uh, so I've been doing that, and then I had to finish my sermon. And by the time I've done all that, now it's late. I gotta be getting to bed, so uh, I am gonna have to keep this short. But as always, I'm, it's good to be here tonight. I hope y'all are doing all right. Um, as always, guys, just pray for me. Uh, let's pray for each other. Uh, don't really have much jibber jabber to say tonight, anyway. Um, not really, not that I can really think of. Uh, I didn't get to read comments or, or emails or nothing today, guys. Like I said, I've been so busy when we got home from work. Um, we've been at church working and this and that, I've been back and forth all day. And like I said, it's just it's been one of them crazy days. So uh, maybe I'll try to get that stuff answered tomorrow. So let's go right into the into the important stuff tonight, guys, and that is the Word of God. Acts chapter 20, starting in verse 25. Here we go. And now behold, I know that ye all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God shall see my face no more. This is, no, this is of course, Paul talking to the, to the heads of the church at, at Ephesus. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Wow, don't this sound like a lot of what's happened today, guys? I don't. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know how far Paul was prophesying ahead, but it talking about the uh, grievous wolves entering, not sparing the flock, tearing everything up, and and men arising speaking perverse things. Don't this remind you of the some of the preachers now, the prosperity preachers that that uh, you know want to get up and actually say with a straight face that God wants us to be billionaires and uh, wants us to do all this crazy stuff, you know, and. Uh, Sounds like perverse things to me. Anyway, verse 31. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn everyone day, excuse me, night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend, commend, yeah, it is, <clears throat> commend, commend you to God and to the world of His grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. I have coveted no man's silver or gold or pearl. Ye Yea, ye yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had thus spoken, he kneeled down and prayed with them all. And they all wept sore and fell on Paul's neck and kissed him. Sorrowing most of all for the words which he spake, that they should see his face no more, and they accompanied him unto the ship. Wow, that's some powerful stuff, guys. I tell you that. I mean that. This I don't you know just that's some powerful stuff. I mean that is that's uh, that's one of those things in the Bible that kind of chokes you up, you know. Especially thinking about that Paul and all the Paul and these guys have been through together, and, and Paul, you know, start telling them that he's leaving, and then they're not going to see him again, you know. And, when you've got somebody that God is directing that much and leading around with the Holy Spirit, you know you're going to go well. God has told him this, you know, you know, uh, you know, I'm not going to question him, you know. So uh, you could you can imagine how much uh, emotion was there. You know, it talk says there that they fell on his neck. You know, they they just you know they wept sore, they wept, they cried till they they couldn't cry no more. Uh, you know, and they just you know it was a it was a sad thing to see. But you know, Paul had to do what what he had to do. Had to go to 
I had to go to Jerusalem and, and do the things that the Lord wanted him to do. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here tonight. We'll continue tomorrow night in Acts chapter 21. Uh, like I said, as always, it's good to be here. Hope you guys are doing all right tonight. Um, hopefully tomorrow, guys, I'll get in a little bit earlier. Uh, so yeah, like I said, guys, uh, pray for me. Pray for church tomorrow. Uh, you guys will see this in the morning. Pray for it. Uh, and I guess that's about it. So uh, good Lord willing, guys, I'll be back here tomorrow night. Until I see y'all again, good night and God bless.